episode we will explore some specialized builds and one general evasion build for all occasions. Even talk about the reasoning, so maybe you can adjust what to expect as the game changes, this build will be built around my fallen god duo armor, which is a nice target to get to, and C7, Kafra's level 7, boots and gloves, with a mix of accessories, but still within reach of most players, given a bit of time. Sometime after this video was published, a new region will be coming out with access to new gloves, but the gear shown here is a good target to aim for as a later mid-game build, at the time of this video and given current meta and gear averages, it's not super end-game but it's not basic stuff either. It's enough to have some good fun and as I have show, this can be done with a lot less, but do you really want to be trying that hard all the time, to fully understand the reasoning behind builds, you kinda have to watch the series from beginning to end. You can skip episode 5 if you wish as that contains nothing related to gear, but the rest will help you understand how we got here, I only play PC but have played on both NA and EU. I can't be sure how well my style and setups will work on console, nor can I test, and console will not have access to all the things PC does, that given, no matter your gear, you gonna die, be it other players have more gear or skill, or you're having a poor day. If you are struggling with feelings of disappointment and wanna try and grow past it, see episode 5. I warn you though it's a long episode packed with grump. But it goes over the psychology of why some players feel as they do and how they can work on such issues, we will explore full and dedicated mana drain builds, hard CC builds, chill builds, my build, even a health vampire build though it won't be that good, as BDO has limitation, and a hybrid full DP build using DR and evasion. For builds using lower gear, you will wanna search out my NA visit. Lower gear can work, but the chances are, if you are here, you are already at, or past the gear I use in my NA visit, we will start with a generalized chill build. As this is where you're most likely to start off. Most my builds will be geared towards speed and mana drain as these are power tools in this style, well, hmm, unless we are doing something very special. They may not be so important to more stationary styles, or people playing as buff bots only, important you remember that when it comes to what I wanna show you. This is for this style, hmm, k, then builds, let's get started, general build. We'll do all things in this style. We will focus on hitting them soft brackets that we talked about in earlier episodes. 1.3k evasion and 400 dr, remember, these numbers are for mid to high end and not end game, this is based on the soft brackets we have talked about. Sure maxing out evasion is the end game goal. Doesn't mean it's correct for you. And why watching all the episodes can help you understand this, depending on how you play, adjusting such numbers to fit your needs better, or you may wish to give up some defense for more special effects, such as movement speed, attack speed, and so on. Use this as a starting point and not a strict, one way to rule them all view, let's look at the gear, crystals, and then add-ons. And go over what it's all for, crystal setups and add-ons are designed for general disruption, a little bit of everything. Best for when you are finding your style, remember, you wanna hit these numbers and can do it however you need to, but I'm showing you a target of gear that will be best for progressing. For when you wanna look past this target, but... You could get here without a Labresca helm for example. Still gonna need a Labresca in the end, if you wanna progress, this is a good base set of gear to aim for. From which you can work on other builds.
Mana Drain, probably the most powerful build against some targets such as Dracania, Corsair, and even Sorks if you can catch them. This is the build type I run the most but we are gonna look at an extreme build. You will see we even have PvE crystals in the build, just for that extra 2% speed. We are even using Vel's Heart for the extra 5% speed, you're not gonna be relying on gear to cover your mistakes, unless you have a lot of gear. But we aren't looking at endgame here, any extra attack speed we can get is a benefit. As we steal mana on hit, 1 2 3, or 1 2 cancel and then 1 2 again will be your main drain. But you can use back left mouse button and right mouse button. Along with shift right mouse button keeps you in some form of protection, I may do, 1 2, for it stiffens, then go into a protected rotation. Remembering that the opponent will cap out on CCs and be able to move again. Just using 1 2 over and over leaves you open. Remember you can hop every 3 seconds with an iframe, to reposition. When you learn better timing, hop can work well outside of iframe, even be used while getting hit by non-CC attacks, allowing you to change direction mid-hop. Maybe I will show that one day, Shy has the ability to buff resistances and only 80% counts in PvP, so why run any resistance crystals, well, we wanna try and avoid a few knockdowns and such. So we can move when not buffed, even buff in situations that are not so convenient and sometime jump in without a buff at all, it's important to remember is is a specialized build and not practical for everything. You are building to be fast, and hard target a few classes, if a Musalan, Kuno or Ninja is after you, then this build not gonna do you any favors, you are wasting a lot of defensive options for very small speed gains. Can only recommend a build like this, if you think you have the skills to manage protections and move like a legend, um, fast and nimble shy, eh? What does that make other classes if shy is classed as fast and nimble? What is Zerk? Musa? Lan? Nova, yeah. Gotta love PA's empty RP texts, never fall for it, means nothing in game, but some players will fall for the hype, Moving around well and avoiding hits is gonna be hard work and take expert timing and stamina management, so maybe only use this build when you really wanna push your skills. Mana Drain used to be powerful against even more classes, but PA seems to have given in to cries and made sure they can't be disabled when taking away all their mana, remembering Shia's men are do this. She has a skill for it. One that is next to useless, compare it to Maywa's Mana Drain. Yeah. Shy utilities are lackluster, and PA aren't gonna change that. Hey, how it be, if you find a way to counter a popular class, PA gonna give in to that player base and poop on your style, just how it is. BDO is a business and will cater to the majority, and the majority are on easy classes they like to think take skill. Ha! Huh? Ham, okay. Cope? Sage? Zerx? Megu? Well most classes now, you just have to work with it. Fair or not, not all players are at grown and strongs, as shy players. They need babysitting by Pearl Abyss, deal. Shy is the only class that offers real skill expression, fact, wanna counter it. Comments are open. But nah, you will cope in your groups, maybe trash talk in RBF. I kid you not. I have had a Zerk say Shy and Zerk are equal in PvP and a Musa complain of the woes of lack of protections, to a Shy. Really, they have no idea. Hmm, at least we know. At least we aren't noobs, Shy players really are top of PvP skill, other classes are carried compared to Shy. And this causes hostility toward the class in PvP, unless you're just being a buff bot. Even PA aren't on your side when you step out of Shy's limited role and express true skill. You will face this, if you disrupt well, expect such things to be said as play a real class even though you just destroyed someone with a Shy. Why do they say this? Because they know they are carried, they should win, but they can't. So they must mock your class and sometimes even start on personal attacks. Sorry but this is how the community be, not all of it but a good number.
Hard CC, we are gonna push our ignore stun and stiffen numbers, this normally works well with a stationary bongo bot, if the enemy ain't that smart and don't know how to move through your stiffens or forget to outright grab you, I know I can't get away with such play and I have shown in previous videos. I'm watched closely in RBF, and as I stop to bongo, a player in the know is gonna get me. But other shy get away with it. Hmm, oh well, I guess, if you become more known on the battlefield. You too will suffer the same fate, as I have explained this style is very active. You aren't gonna be standing still but, maybe you wanna have a better chance of getting stiffens and stuns. Maybe you wanna snipe targets from a distance with eat this, watching for opportunities to help your team by setting up easy kills. Or stunning incoming targets, remembering that your CCs will have no effect against super armor nor forward guards unless you get behind the target. So you will need to learn where the gaps are in the class's movements that you wish to target. Maybe pick one or two classes to focus on to start with and don't focus on the harder to CC classes such as Musa, Sage and even Mystics. Well all classes are very protected these days. Can get frustrating when you have to use your unprotected 1 2 3 and nearly every other class can press a skill that is carried out with some sort of protection. E.g. click and collect classes, having a higher CC build means 1v1 and other smaller engages can become more controlled as your stiffens on 1 2 3 are more likely to work and keep the opponents in place. But if they have a high frames per second, they can get around your CCs pretty easy, even skill out of your CC, must be nice, little you can do about this at this time, and unless Pearl Abyss improve their game to cap the physics part of their engine to 60 frames, little we can do about this, and we must work with what we have. Pearl Abyss are very much aware of this issue and give us the empty and childlike response off, well it's a lot of work to fix, um. Coos. Re. Fet. Z ye. Ah, sorry my brain broke at the stupidity, it's your job to fix it, not make excuses, really, imagine saying that to your boss, sorry boss I can't fix that for you, it's difficult, imagine imagining in 2023. Um, well, if you said that, they would get someone that can, Pearl Abyss have the luxury of not worrying about this until there are real contenders on the market. Then the devs have to step up and fix it, or look for a new job, cause their bosses won't stand for it. When we ask, meh, we are ignored. We are just customers with limited options at this time, who knows, if you are watching this video a year down the line, and BDO has some real competition, PA will have finally addressed the issue. But until there is competition, we work with what we have, and Pearl Abyss is a business, just a business, nothing more, and they will not do more than they need to, I know, this is a guide and it would be nice if I was not so grumpy and complaining but it would be nicer if I didn't have such simple things to complain about. It's also important that I explain such issues, show you they exist so you know what's going on and the limitation of the game and build, and what to expect, how this all works. If it works well or right? That's in Pearl Abyss's hands and not mine, all I can do as a player is complain and hope they listen, hmm, give hard CC builds a try if you want, but I have found it's not really worth it for what you give up if you are facing more experienced players. Mana Drain will always be king in disruption as this can work through super armors. And when it comes to CCs, players hacking in higher frames per second can just ignore your efforts by breaking the game. You be you, got the gear and items to give it a try, sure. But don't expect miracles. Oh, and let's be real. It's not Pearl Abyss job, or the community managers, to explain and expose the game's bugs, errors and limitations, doesn't mean such things aren't there. You are expected to just work it out, guess at what is intended and how things work. I explain things as they are, and it's not my fault if it has a negative light. I love BDO, but I respect the player more than companies feels, this means my videos will not get shared or promoted, because I say it how it is, and Pearl Abyss spend real money on PR to counter their failings, right thing to do is correct such failings. But that's a balance of business and finances, has nothing to do with gaming and respecting the community. It's business, I state this a lot, because some younger players are naive and believe the RP and think the company is their friend. It's not and that's okay. 
What's not okay? Pretending you are, and selling young and impressionable people the lie. PA, stop it, have the balls to own your failings and grow, must be awful for some community managers that join the team for good reasons, to improve the game, and find themselves so restricted. I understand, you have limitations, but you also get paid to play the social PR game, and you have no issue with that. Just doing your job, right, ditto. So you want my respect, show some back, giving my work a boost is not in their interests. Although my work is very healthy for the game. Staff ain't smart enough to see that, and negative press effect shares and forces devs to step up. Like and share, cause no one at Pearl Abyss is gonna give me a helping hand, we know this, and I guess I'm just too dangerous for other content creators to mention. Don't mention the snoods, they know I exist. They know my work, just I attract problems, hum, well, this is okay. We can't all be heroes, hum, okay, what's next? Not really a build, would not recommend, has no power, and is just a concept at best. But hey at least I looked at it, so now you know too. You can't get enough health back using this style to make it worthwhile and crystals are limited. You are also limited on shy by the level of add-ons you can have, but. I want to give you the idea, who knows, more items may be added to the game in time and maybe it will work later down the line, there is too much damage in game and not enough recovery options. Well, at least with an evasion build. When you do get hit, the rate you recover at is meaningless, maybe this would work better in a full DR build, maybe we will test that one day. The idea is, you don't need to boost your health pool so much as you are constantly replenishing it by actively hitting people. This means enemies' CCs are gonna be your main issue. So you might wanna rotate them protections, add-ons for this build are different. Your protected attack will be your sustain. Your main 1-2-3 is higher risk. So we will put a down smash on that just in case, but we don't wanna be using that attack unless it's safe. We are not here to drain mana. You're trying to distract and keep alive, eat this is used to chase people that are trying to escape. Normally they are alone at that point, and you can slow them down for the team while feeding off them for health. Although crystals for this build are limited, that could always change but for now there are not many options for health on hit. So we will focus on pushing our ability to stiffen. Even if high FPS hacking players can get out of this, you may still be playing the game as it was meant to be, and maybe the hacks will be addressed in time. <laughs> Maxing your evasion, sounds end game right? Kinda is, but sometimes you need to boost your evasion to hit one of them soft brackets, or test to see if your next upgrade gonna make any difference to being hit. This can work as a real build option and the higher your gear evasion values the better the chance of benefiting from this sort of maxing, so yeah, would work well end game I guess, I personally don't use this setup as I have my own way of doing things. You may find it useful for how you play, who knows. Can be fun when the other side hasn't got the gear, but I soon get bored of being unkillable in such a match. Rare by the way, rare in the EU, that there isn't one player that can take me down but happens now and again. And it gets dull, fast. And I start doing silly things like dancing and running in circles, cause why not? So let's look. Using the gear we have available in this series, the crystals we have available and the add-ons we will use, we are reaching 1.4k but I haven't felt like that is a soft bracket in the current meta, not in EU at least, NA I think it could be but I'm not quite at the gear level to test the NA side, at time of recording this video. I'm giving up a lot of other gimmicks and special crystals to attempt to not get hit. Idea is? You don't need such other things if you're not getting hit. Right, just remember, there will always be a class with a build that's gonna defeat whatever you do. Just how the game is. 
Don't expect to be invincible. When you have a good selection of gear, mixing and swapping hybrid and mana drain can really work well, but be warned, some really good players out there and they feel the change and react to your gear, and then they swap out too. I noticed this in EU mainly, not a bad thing, adds depth to RBF, it's like there are two levels to RBF, the casuals, and the RBFers. How many you have of one or the other will probably determine how fun a match is gonna be. Not fun to be on a super weak team full of casuals, facing a team with two to three names on the other side. Can't push, can't hold points, can't win. And casual aren't interested in listening to a shot caller. Some even feel hurt that you would suggest different ways of doing things. And then they have a tantrum. Always best to block the cool kids, they will mess up your match but, you can be sure of one thing, they will never have anything worth listening to, and they don't wanna listen to you, so they say. Hum, so blocking is in the interests of all, strange that. If they didn't wanna listen to you, why say it with some rude and cool kid comment? Maybe they are so dented they tell you to shut up cause they can't find the block option. A, why not just block? Ah, cause they aren't fully functional adults yet. And wanna throw a tantrum and have a fight? Kidults as my friend Kino calls them, I called them, skill-less ego trolls, not as catchy. They know they are bad. And cannot gain respect through play. So feel the need to take you down with insults. While they are on your team? Wow, fools, anyhow, believe it or not, for a lot of the big name RBFers. It's not that much fun if the match is a walkover. They love a challenge they have tons of kills already, they aren't there to clock up more kills on a sheet, especially if they like to play different classes, just how RBFB, and we need to remember, some are new, some are casual, and for some, it's the main part of our game. Easy to get worked up and upset on all sides? I know I do. <laughs> Little Mrs. Build Ha, baited. Next video, the next video will be the end of the series and I'm not gonna tack it on the end of this video. Just how it is. This video also contain a lot of grump and would be nice to have the last video end on a happier note. I didn't plan to be grumpy, I didn't plan how I was gonna do this, just happens as it happens. Things needed to be said, see you next episode, the journey is nearly over.